Well, you've seen my most hated Sonic characters, but now, who are my favourites? As the Sonic universe has loads of characters, I was a bit more open to choices here. However, I was able to narrow it down to 10 characters who I like best, whether it's from their backstory, their powers, or their personality. And once again, this is my opinion. If yours is different, please try to respect mine. So here is Shadow Sullivan's top 10 favourite Sonic characters. Arguably, one of the highlights of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle was the incredibly addicting Chow Garden. Characters who you can raise as virtual pets, the Chow are cute, lovable characters who can do a lot of things. They can fly, swim, race, play musical instruments, dance, and even fight in karate tournaments. Ah, violent competition solves all of life's problems. And the more you look after the Chow, the more their skills develop over time. Another thing I like about Chow is how intelligent they are and how they can have multiple personalities. Some of them are cute and happy type, while others can even be evil. So whilst Chow may not play huge parts in the actual adventures of the games, their presence is still welcomed and everyone loves taking care of them. The only question that's left is when will the Chow return? In my opinion, most of the female characters in the Sonic universe are annoying. However, a major exception would be Blaze the Cat. Debuting in the game Sonic Rush, Blaze is a cat who has fire powers. She can use it to hover for a short while and even become a flaming tornado. Now that kicks ass. Blaze herself is also likeable in her personality. She always tends to keep her cool during her adventures and just always willing to do what's right for the good of the world. Like in Sonic 06. Speaking of that, she's almost also like a big sister to Silver the Hedgehog. My only downside with Blaze, aside from the occasional blandness, is that in the Sonic Rush game, she almost seemed like a carbon copy of Sonic, and I always preferred to play as the blue blur anyways. But still, Blaze is a good character who will hopefully be in more Sonic games to come. Number eight. E-102 Gamma was an underrated Sonic Adventure character in my opinion. Sonic Adventure DX, his story in it was the first time where you could actually play as an Eggman robot in the main adventure. While it was fun blasting shit with Gamma, he also has arguably the best story out of all the characters in the game. He's a robot designed to serve Eggman, but after he meets up with Amy and the Flicky, he later discovers what he actually is a flicky trapped in a robot's body. So after that, he then sets out to save his family from Eggman by taking out his superiors. It then ends with the battle between him and his brother, E-101 Beta, and they both end up shooting each other. So, Gamma may not have had a huge part in the Sonic series, but I still thought he was a great and well-developed character, who definitely shouldn't be overlooked. Number seven. Aside from being Sonic's first proper rival, Knuckles the Echidna was introduced in arguably the greatest Sonic game ever, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, yes it is all one game. Knuckles lives on Angel Island, and is the guardian of the Master Emerald. I thought his addition to Sonic 3 was great, as with his abilities to glide and climb up walls, you could explore areas which you couldn't before as just Sonic. Knuckles himself is also really tough and can break rocks with his fist. So, why is he not higher? Well, he is a pretty gullible character, as Eggman always seems to be able to trick him into trying to kill Sonic. Also, I didn't like how they portrayed him in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle as like a gangster. Seriously? With some horrible rap music playing in his levels. At least they scrapped that in favour of a character with a tough attitude and who always tries to help Sonic. And despite being arrogant at times, Knuckles is still a great character in the series. Number six. Every video game series needs a main villain. And for Sonic, that villain is Dr. Eggman. An evil scientific genius with an IQ of 300, Eggman is definitely the comic relief of the Sonic series. 
For someone who is supposed to be very clever, his plans always seem to go wrong, and Sonic always finds a way to humiliate him in defeat. And whenever Eggman gets frustrated when his plans fail, he is generally funny to watch. So what is his plans for evil? Take over the world and create his own theme park. Yeah, you can tell that Eggman had a lot of fun when planning his world domination. Eggman can't really be taken seriously, but he's not supposed to be. And I like him for being a funny villain, and for having his many inventions which look cool at first, until after Sonic trashes them. Eggman may have been the funny Sonic villain, but when it comes to the kick-ass ones, you can't really beat Mephilus the Dark. His plans for evil is to join together with Iblis, the Flames of Disaster, to form the super-dimensional being Solaris and consume space, time and all other matters. That's some heavy shit right there. And in order to do this, he actually convinces Silver that Sonic was the reason why his world is destroyed and that killing him would like bring peace back so that Silver would kill Sonic, Elise would cry and the flames would be released. So, As a character, he's almost like a shadow villain. When fighting him, he can clone himself, shoot dart balls and hide in shadows. Now, to add to his creepy persona and deceptive plans, he also has one of the most badass evil laughs ever. <laughs> I don't think I need to say any more. Nephilus, you rock. Number four. What's there not to love about Miles Tails Prower, aka Tails the Fox? He's Sonic's best friend and was the first sidekick in the series. He's most well known for having two tails which he can use as a propeller to fly. Also, he's a mechanical genius who can make and pilot planes which turn into mechs, program electronics and other things that Sonic can't do. Tails always looks up to Sonic as like a big brother, and whilst Tails usually fights alongside Sonic, whenever he's in trouble he's always determined to do it on his own and doesn't want to let Sonic down. And he always tries to help as much as he can whenever Sonic's in danger. And it's pretty hard to see how Sonic would get through half of his adventures without Tails' help. Talk about underrated characters. Silver the Hedgehog is probably one of the most hated Sonic characters in the series. But unlike the other hated characters, Silver doesn't deserve it. He's a telekinetic hedgehog who comes from the distant future, which is destroyed by Iblis. He vows to protect the people from his world and defeat Iblis. Silver also has probably the coolest powers of any Sonic character. He can use his telekinetic powers to pick up, shock and throw things using his mind. How is that not awesome? His gameplay in Sonic 06 was really well done and it added a lot to the game and Silver was fun to play as. Silver himself is a determined fighter and he'll stop at nothing until the world is saved. He also really cares for his friends, and he was crushed when he had to leave Blaze to save the world. All in all, Silver is a great, underrated Sonic character who really needs more time in the spotlight. Oh yeah, no list would be complete without the Blue Blur himself. Sonic the Hedgehog is pretty much what makes the series. He's everything a great video game character should be. He's got that cool look to him. He can run at the speed of light. That's why he's the fastest thing alive. He always saves the world and his friends whenever they're in danger. And he does this whilst retaining a cool attitude. When fighting Eggman, he's very rarely intimidated. And he always has an in-your-face kind of vibe to him. And Roger Craig Smith in Sonic Colors certainly did capture this very well. Hey Tails, you missed the BBBE. Huh? Best boss beating ever! Without Sonic, we certainly wouldn't have all these wonderful games. So, who could possibly beat that? It's number one! Yeah, like I even need to say his name.
You probably all saw this one coming, but I do have my reasons. Shadow the Hedgehog is pretty much Sonic, but even more awesome. He was created 50 years ago as the ultimate life form by Professor Gerald Robotnik. When he was released in the present day, he doesn't remember who he is, and he's haunted by the memories of his past. So he sets out to find the truth about who he is and what is his purpose. Now, if that's not your thing, then Shadow is still awesome to play as. Shadow plays like Sonic, except he uses rocket skates to move. He wields guns, drives cars, motorbikes and many other vehicles, and he can utilize chaos powers to either go really, really fast or to cause mass damage. Awesome. Shadow himself has a badass attitude to him, and his dark and sinister tone is perfect for his character. To discover what happened, it seems we must see what took place ten years ago. Follow me if you want the truth. He usually likes to do things his own way, but he will help his friends if in trouble, and he usually ends up doing what's right in the end. So, with his badass nature, interesting backstory, cool powers, and great character development, Shadow is not only my favourite Sonic character ever, but also my favourite video game character ever, and is a much better character than this little twat. So this is Shadsaw Sire from saying, please rate and comment, see you soon, and I still hate Jet the Hawk.